How to use list tracking in Google Analytics 4 to better understand how your clients use your website, how they navigate it from where a purchase is coming from, uh, using something called list. Uh, I'm on the monetization overview report in my Google Analytics. If you don't have it, go to library, search here for monetization and uh, add the report. So usually it should be here, but if it's not, you can add all, all sorts of um, uh, reports from your library. So I have it, that's my overview. And here I have uh, a list report. I can go for details. And now I have all sorts of data. Um, for example, related products, belt, generated two cells. Now, I of course use Pixel Your Site on my demo website and on my other websites as well. Uh, on the WooCommerce page of the plugin, this is the paid version, we have this section about list performance on Google Analytics. And you can enable it on shop page, related products, category tags, and short codes. You can enable tracking names for list. I will explain everything later on. And we have two dedicated events and two parameters. Now, when I navigate the website and I click or add to cart a product from a shop page, from a category page, from a tag page, from a section of related products, this will start to um, track list. So for example, I'm here on this uh, product. There is no list because I just landed on the product. But if I click on any of the related products from here, it means that uh, this product will start to have list related products. And let me show you exactly what I mean. So I open the product. Okay, now let's see the view content event and I have list name related products. I will have related products with this setup every time um, a product from a related product section is clicked. However, if I want to see the exact product from where the click generated, I can enable tracking names for lists and what happens? Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Refresh the page because I want the new setup to be loaded. And I click on a related product from this one. And this time I will have not only uh, the list related products, but list, list related products t-shirt because the, the product was named t-shirt. So now I know that if this product is bought by me, in this case, if I complete the transaction, all the events will have um, this parameter, list data, list name and list ID. Uh, in this case, if I complete the transaction, Google will start to report that particular uh, list name. So this way, I understand, I better understand what sections of my website are clicked. Again, you can track this for uh, the shop page, related products, that, that was my example, uh, categories. So in this case, it, it will be category. And if this option is enabled, the name of the category tags, again, similar to categories and short codes. If someone you show product to your show code, short code, it will be a uh, list with value short code. So um, it's a simple way to understand how people use your website, website and what sections of the website are um, generating your sales. It's not, it's not a huge thing, but it's something you should, you should be able to see inside Google Analytics. And uh, it might give you interesting um, 
insights and maybe you want to change something to make the related products more prominent or uh, promote more a particular category or category pages is if those are the pages that are generating your sales this is a feature we have inside pixel your site professional it's one of the many features we have for google analytics 4 and uh, i hope it's useful for you um, we also have two different events view item list and select item select item basically you click on the let's say related products you click on the product it will qualify for a select item event it will trigger the event so you can also see uh, reports about this in your event uh, report but i find the parameters very useful because they are reported when sales uh, uh, happen on the website so uh, this data, data is strictly related to purchases coming from those uh, particular sections that are tracked using lists. So maybe you don't need these events at all. I don't know. It's up to you. You can turn it off and uh, don't send uh, the events. But I would keep the parameters because they have they they provide quite interesting insights in how your clients uh, navigate your website and how they how you generate your sales um christian stoichesko from pixel your site this is our plugin pixel your site professional uh, i hope you liked this, this video share subscribe to our channel and uh, like thank you very much